Hey guys, I'm Jess, and today on View Pop, we are returning to the Dirty Dancing Palette. This one right here by Solo Look. You can get it now. I think it's still available. I will definitely check and let you know right here. For this, I did a tutorial already, but I asked if you guys wanted to see some looks using the I Carried a Watermelon. It's definitely the most intimidating color in this palette because... It's insanely pigmented and definitely looks like a watermelon. So I have two looks I'm going to show you today. One that's more chillax and the other one is going to be a darker smoky eye, which thank you Missy for that suggestion and I am totally using it so I hope you like how it turns out. And yeah, so let's get started. I'm going to do my more chilled out summery look first. I already have my whole face pretty much done. For my cheeks, I'm using Milani Coralina, I think that's how you say it. It's like a really peachy color, and I thought that would go well with the I Carried a Watermelon shade. And for my highlight, I'm using Meringue from this palette. I already applied that. And then the rest of my highlight, like on my nose and cupid as well, is the Balm Mary Luminizer. And that's going to come back into play a little bit later in this look. Dirty Dancing Palette, yay! So I already have a primer on my lids. So I'm going to go ahead and just go into I Carried a Watermelon right here. And I'm going to use this brush from Real Techniques. It's a base shadow brush. But I like it because it really cuts into like your crease really well. So I'm going to use that and I'm going to lightly dab and tap off. So we are gonna do this not very intensely. That that's that's the goal. And I'm just going to apply this to the outer corner in the crease. Who's eating something? Hey, what are you eating? No comment. He pleads a fifth. There's a lot of blending that's happening in this look. And just apply it very sparingly. You can always build up, but if you apply a lot, you can't really build down, if you know what I mean. So I'm just kind of um, enhancing it as I go. And I'm making it more intense as well. Just kind of on the outer corner bit. Can you see that? I hope so. And now I'm just gonna take it a little bit and brush it a little bit under my eye, not go all the way fully, because this could definitely look like pink eye territory, if you know what I mean. So just be sparingly underneath your eye. So far, that's what it looks like. I kind of just made like a little V on the outer corner, just kind of connecting it down to the lower lash line. And now, we are gonna hop on over to Meringue, right here. It's a really, really pretty peachy, highlighty color. And I'm just gonna take my finger and pack that on my lid, going in to the I Carried a Watermelon shade. Look at that. Look at that peachy amazingness. He's just eating the carpet. Stop. My dog's crazy. So I pretty much have that how I want it. And now I'm gonna go in with 
Mary Luminizer is just a really pretty gold highlight, so you can just use whatever gold highlight you want. And I'm just taking a eyeshadow brush from e.l.f. and I'm going to put this on my brow bone. And just kind of blend it. I'm also going to take a smaller brush and put it on my inner corner. Next, I need to curl my lashes. I'm using a e.l.f. eyelash curler. Now for eyeliner, I'm using the Maybelline Master Precise Curvy Eyeliner. And I'm just doing my top lash line. And now I'm using mascara, so I'm going to use Wet n Wild, Mega Volume, and Tarte Lights Camera Lashes. I'm doing this first and then this on top. I don't know why, but I like the combo. <laughs> and I'm just doing my top lashes. So now I have two as done, and now I'm just going to pop on a lip gloss to finish the look. I think to finish this look, I'm just gonna use this really, really pretty pink tart lip gloss. It is in Magic, I believe. Yes, it is. It's just like a really pale pink. It just kind of gives you a nice glossy effect. So that is the more casual look. I think this is a great summer look because it just kind of looks like a sunset on your eyes. Like, look at that. Sunset action happening. And I just love how it turns out every single time and it just looks really good. Just make sure and not load on a bunch of the I Care to Watermelon shade at one time because you might regret it because it just may be like too much and too intense. So just make sure and go in a little bit at a time and tap off your brush as well to get off the excess so it doesn't fall like right here. So next, we are going to do a more dramatic look using I Care to Watermelon. Hey guys, so we're doing take two of this dirty dancing makeup tutorial. And this time we're going to do a more smoky eye using the Cha Cha, Johnny Castle, as well as I Cared Watermelon. So let's start, I'm excited. First off, we're gonna take Cha Cha, which is a really, really pretty, just purple color. I love this shade. I'm gonna take a big, fluffy, kind of just blending brush. And I'm just going, this is the up and up one from Target. I'm just going to take that cha-cha and I'm going to lightly put it in my crease as a transition shade. I'm also going to take this purple under my lower lash line. So now that I have a nice wash of color on there, I'm going to take Johnny Castle. And I'm just going to take this tiny little smudger brush almost. And I'm just going to focus that black color on the outer V of my eye and just kind of keep it centrally located. I guess I'm keeping it more on the lid. I'm really like pressing it on. And now I'm just gonna go back with that blending brush and I'm just going to blend the black and the purple together. And I'm going to add a little bit more purple on the black just so it kind of blends a little easier. And then kind of blending it across my lid as well, just to kind of get the colors to melt together. That's kind of what I'm going for. I'm just kind of adding it on top of the black. 
And now we're gonna go to I Carried a Watermelon, right here. And I'm just using a flat shadow brush from e.l.f. Now that I kind of have it laid down how I want it, I'm just gonna take my finger and go into the I Carried Watermelon shade again and just kind of pat it on the center of my lid. Now with a pencil, I'm going to line my waterline. I'm using the one by Mark Jake. Nope, I'm using the one by Lorac. Just kidding. <laughs> to go with the smoky look. With my fingertip, I put that on thing, I'm just going to blend out that black color on the lower lash line. Since we are going for a smoky look. Just a smudger brush, I'm going back into Cha Cha, which is the purple shade, and I'm going to take that on my lower lash line. Now I'm just going to follow up. Oh crap, I just dropped that. I had to pick it up. Now I'm just going to go in with mascara and eyeliner to complete the look. And it's pretty much the same process as you just saw like two seconds ago with the other look. So I'm not going to record that part. When I come back, I'll have both eyes done. So this is a completed look. I hope you guys like it. Of course, you can always go ahead and add a lip. I'm not going to, but you can if you want. I hope you guys have liked this video. It's kind of something different for me. I normally just do one look tutorials, but I thought I'd mix it up and give you two ways to wear this awesome shade that is slightly intimidating because it is very, very pigmented and very bold. But I showed you two ways. You can either do a more relaxed, chilled sunset look or this very dramatic smoky eye. And thank you again, Missy, for this awesome suggestion. It worked out great. And I will put links for everything I used in this video down in the description below. So if you want to be like, oh, what specific product did she use in that part? You can just see down below. And I couldn't have done it without the Dirty Dancing Makeup Palette from Solo Look. It is still available. If you want it, you better get it while it's hot because who knows when it may not become available anymore. Tell me down below which look is your favorite, the first sunset summery look or the super bold look that I'm currently wearing, because um, I would like to know from you guys which ones you guys preferred. And also, you can find me on social media right here. Be friends with me. And if you haven't already, make sure and hit that notification bell down below so you're notified every single time I upload a new video. And hit that button down below to subscribe. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching.